we're doing something kind of crazy and creative. Okay, we got the fire extinguisher ready. Here we go. Today, I am going to be driving in my own car. Okay, we gotta stop it. Stop. Nobody's in that car. We lost one chicken this morning. So I'm gonna go out and check and make sure we haven't lost any more. Yep, you're 100 degrees, yo. And your throat hurts too. I love making sourdough bread. I had lots of starter, so I made two loaves today. And I wanna take one to someone in our neighborhood. I just don't know who. There's been a few people that Johnny's helped the last couple of days and one that's experienced a miscarriage. Yeah. I don't know. We'll figure it all out. Kim gets ready. What is your house like in the morning? Good job, buddy. That was good, even being that tired, huh? I love your progress that you're making with reading. Thanks. Do you like reading? A little. I am totally avoiding and distracting. I need to go start the last shelf in the Yowie Co. And I don't want to. I mean, I want to, but I don't at the same time. So I guess I better get to work. Kenyon really wanted an egg, and I was like, eat something else, I don't wanna make you an egg right now. And then he was like, I'm still so starving. So I was like, okay, you have to write your paper for school, because he did not wanna write his paper. So I told him he had to write his paper for school, and then I'd make him an egg. And Kenyon, what'd you do? Well, my paper! You can't really see him, but he did write his paper. You might wonder, maybe you don't, maybe you've never wondered, but I'm just gonna give you the answer anyway, is what do we do when we are at the ranch? and we still need to do our jobs, which by the way, I don't know if you guys knew this, because we are daily vloggers, because we put out a video every single day, uh, we're probably one of the few jobs that actually we work 365 days a year. Uh, it's crazy to think about that. This is how I do it at one of the ranch. I've got the computer here, I've got it plugged in, I've got it connected to my phone or the uh, Wi-Fi. Uh, extender the Wi-Fi that Sarah uh, just recently got but right now I'm connecting to my phone uploading a video uh, and uh, most of the times we our operations manager you guys know Lane he uploads the videos but this one I, I needed to do some edits on so if I have to do any edits on it I have to re-upload it which takes right now we're about 13 minutes and it's 50% so it, it's not too long sometimes two and a half hours today I am going to be driving in my own car I got my license uh, about a couple months ago and I've never driven my car. I've driven a little bit, but not my own car. So we're gonna go driving and let's see how it goes. Tonight we're having artichoke chicken. Canyon said this one sounds good. So we're gonna try it, see what he thinks. And I think it sounds amazing. I'm also very hungry right now. So I'm gonna throw this in the crock pot and go continue to work on the Yowie Co. How are you feeling? Mm, so hurts, but... Okay, you probably shouldn't sleep for any longer, okay? I haven't actually slept at all this time. Oh good. I was like, you're not gonna sleep tonight if you don't if you sleep right now. <laughs> Alright, just wanted to make sure just wanna see how you're doing. Okay. Lindsay had a sore throat earlier today, and then after they finished filming, she just came in, laid in bed, so her throat still hurts, but just hoping that it's only that her throat is hurting, not anything else. She said she's feeling okay. But her, she does have a sore throat, so. Everything in the Yowie Co. is so dusty. <coughs> and I haven't been outside all day, so I'm gonna go out with Savannah. She's swimming. I'm gonna get in the pool and just swim for a little bit. I'm almost done with the Yowie Co. It's looking so great, and I'll show you in a little bit. But I'm gonna go spend some time with Savannah. How's the water? It's cold at first, but then it feels good. Oh. I haven't gotten in the pool pool since October and it's so cold. I'm glad Savannah suggested turning on the hot tub before I got in here. Yeah, that was so <laughs>
That's a true hot rod right there. We lost one chicken this morning. And so I'm gonna go out and check and make sure we haven't lost any more. It's, 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 I, I expect to lose at least 50% of these birds before they grow big enough. Last time it was less than 50% before we brought them here to the ranch. So let's we'll see what we got here. Well, there they are right there. There's a bunch down underneath there. I don't see any more fallen soldiers. What's up, turkeys? What's up, turkey? Look how cool these guys are. So cool. Okay, it seems everything's going well. Having turkeys and chickens at the ranch is so much fun. I know the kids like it too. It's lots of fun. Back to work on a limo. Okay, we got the fire extinguisher ready. Here we go. Oh, I got a fire underneath my hand. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god. I was like, why are my why do I <laughs> It's looking good though. Okay. It's been a while since I welded. And I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things to do. As you can see, we're working on the underneath of this car. We're doing something kind of crazy and creative. We're creating a pivot system. We have one uh, one actuator here, and uh, we need to run the gas and the pedal, or we need to run the gas and the brake, but not at the same time. We need to run brake, and then when the brake lets off, we want the gas to go. So if you can kind of see what my hands are doing here, we have a pivot that's gonna happen. So we're creating that underneath there. What I'm welding on is the center pivot portion, I'll show you how it works in a minute. So what we're doing to this car is we're making it remote control. So we have the pivot system I showed you. We have the remote control, the remote steering. So it's not, it's very similar to like a little, rate, an RC car or something. So you just, see the wheel behind me moving? So you just push that, and the steering turns. See, we're turning left, turning right. You can see the steering wheel moving. So we, well, the problem we had before with it is we would spin it, and it would spin too fast. So we put a larger pulley this time instead of uh, a sprocket. Put a larger pulley on the steering wheel side, and then we put a smaller pulley on the drive side. And because of the gearing now, it goes much slower, just like it's supposed to, so it doesn't jerk. Last limo jump two weeks ago was a complete failure because of those things right there. So, uh, amongst other things, there was there was uh, I, actually that was it. wasn't able to get enough speed because the steering was way too jerky. Not anymore. You ready for this? Nobody's in there driving. We got steering. All right. Nobody's driving. Okay, come on, Stubbs. Make sure that we know that nobody's driving. Okay. Nobody is in the car. Still, nobody in the car. You ready? Hey, car, let's go. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Nobody's in that car. Still, nobody in the car. Oh, I gotta steer it. Oh, <laughs> I gotta steer it. <laughs> nobody's in that car. Okay, we gotta stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Still, nobody in the car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, taking you with us from the from the driver's side. Here we go. I'm highly excited about it because this is what Stubbsy and I have been working on most of the day today. We goofed around a little bit this morning. We goofed around a little bit in between. But that is a full-on remote control vehicle. It works. Well, the Yowie Co. is not totally done, but it's way better than it was. I'm gonna bring some bins that have kitchen stuff and put them in here so I can just put like these random things in bins until we have the kitchen space to put them away. But do you wanna see what the shelves look like? Okay, okay, I'll show you. So over here we have pet supplies, drinks. I'm gonna put the cereal dispensers there, drink, dis drink flavors, and then we have this shelf with canned food, and this shelf with preserved food, <laughs> and then 
cleaning supplies and everything back there. So a lot, a lot of work. I don't know exactly what to do back here yet because a lot of this stuff will probably go in the kitchen and the pantry, but I need the cupboards and the shelves. <laughs> I need the poles on the cupboards and the shelves in the pantry so I can do those things. So for now, it's an organized mess, I guess. But this, I am gonna get, I ordered some of these two quart jars and I'm gonna put pasta in them. Carol has her pasta in there and I love the way it looks. So I'm gonna, I ordered the jars. They'll be here on Friday. I gotta go buy some pasta and that will go right here. <sighs> it's getting better. She's burning up, yo. Yep, you're 100 degrees, yo. 100.5. Yep. And your throat hurts too? You give some time off Motrin? Motrin for her. She has to eat the applesauce first so she doesn't throw it up. Yeah, it will help. All right. You feel okay? Okay, come get me if you don't feel good, if you feel too hot in the night, okay? Okay. All right, I love you. I love you. Good night. So Savannah and I both did some unique things in terms of driving today. She just drove. On um, around other cars. Yeah, kind of crazy, huh? Crazy. And it was fine, right? Mm-hmm. And she drove her car. Yeah, that was fun. And I rode on the hood of my car while it drove itself. <laughs> that's craziness. Anyway, so that's fun. We were just talking about it and how it's kind of scary to drive around, I mean, you start driving, you start kind of driving on the back roads, you drive in parking lots, you do these different yeah. things. But then when you start driving other, around other drivers, that's when it starts getting that's a little scary. It's like, you have no clue what the heck they're gonna do. Yeah, because you can't anticipate what they're doing. So most of the driving is about anticipation of other drivers. And so teaching that is difficult. It, the best way to teach it is just to get the experience. experience yeah. And uh, anyway. I don't remember it being like way scary to drive, but I uh, we were just talking yeah. about some of the instances. It's, it was it was scary. Yeah, it's like there was one point where I got like kind of tensed up. I don't know why, but it was just like passing one of the cars. I just realized that I was like kind of tensed up passing them. But other than that, I was it wasn't too bad. It wasn't as intimidating or freaky as I thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna just keep practicing more and more. Yep. For the next little while. Oh, by the way, just reminded me. These shirts, they're on our site if you want this one. I love this one, it's my favorite. One of my favorite Tannerite shirts, I should say. But they're on our site, you can get these ones. In fact, I'm gonna go order me another one. You should order, order me one too. <laughs> oh, you don't have one of these ones? Uh-uh. Time but to get some it. more, time to get some more. Thanks for joining us today, guys. We love you and never forget that. You are, you are worth, worth it. it. Bye, guys. You are worth it. <laughs>